What in the world could Apple call its next phones? I'm Max Geller, and I'm here to give you some insight. Let's get started. So Apple is kind of stuck in a corner with the naming of its phones. Because here's the problem, is when it went from the iPhone 8 to the iPhone 10 to the iPhone 10s, there are a lot of issues there. Now I'd like to point out something they said at WWDC. They said, and I quote, now, when it came to naming this release, our crack marketing team really surprised us this year by demonstrating their ability to count well into the double digits. Yes, it's iOS 13. Almost making fun of themselves for not knowing how to count when jumping from 8 to 10 with the iPhone 10. It's just not. The naming has been such a problem, I think, and will only get worse. So as they did this transition from... Uh, the iPhone 8 to the iPhone 10, they could have done this differently. They could have called this iPhone 10 the iPhone 9 or the iPhone 8S. Probably not 8S because the S releases were usually smaller releases, so probably the iPhone 9. And I think this would have been fine, great, everyone would have understood what this all meant, and they would have just gone with it. Never, no 10, no X, or whatever people call this phone. Then after that, they could have released the iPhone 10 but actually the number 10. And that would have been great. Then 11, or 11, or 10S. It's fine, whatever they want to do, just with normal numbers. But they didn't. They released the iPhone 10. But at that point, there were still things they could have done to make this right. They could have called this iPhone 10S instead of the 10S. They could have gone with, like, Mac OS, and they could have named it after... Something in California. So they could have gone with a plant or a flower or a place or food or animal or something like they do with the Mac OS releases. There would still be that number. Maybe. Maybe that number. But it would be referred to by its name. Or they could have gone with the iPhone 10 and then the year. So this would have been the iPhone 10 2018, iPhone 10 2019, 2020, and so on. Like they do with the... Mac lineup and the iPad lineup and a lot of other lineups. Now this could not go well, but it also could. You could have like the iPhone, the iPhone Pro, and the iPhone Air, kind of similar to the other models, which would actually, I would like that as a way of naming them. Maybe even along with that other idea of naming them like macOS. That could be very interesting. Now, what to name the next phone? Because they messed up there. What are they going to name their next phone? Well, the obvious choice for this iPhone 11 is going with Roman numerals iPhone XI. Now, we're going to run into the same and similar problems as we did before. With the iPhone XS, the iPhone XR, the XS Max, all of those names that people called them. We will now have that with the XI. Or you'll have people like my dad calling it Chi. It just, there will be issues there, and it will just continue and continue until it's out of control. Until they go to a more normal naming convention. Now they could do that. They could go back to calling this phone, what many people are, 11 the normal way. We could see them just transition out of this nicely by saying, 10 was a special series phone, it was Roman numerals. Or we could see them admit that the naming convention was a mess, and they're going back to the normal way. I think those two are really the only two options for the 2019 iPhones. But who knows, Apple could surprise us. But what about the individual phones? Specifically the 10R. Now right now, many people call this phone XR. Same issue as before. But that's not the issue that I want to look at. I want to look at people calling this phone the 10R2. That makes no sense at all. Why would the lineup consist of an iPhone 11, an iPhone 11 Max, and a 10R2? That just doesn't make sense with consistency. And then you'll have the other name, which is the 11R in Roman numerals. That one makes sense to have that 11R. That's right. That's what fits. But what happens when we move on to the 2020 iPhones with that naming convention? What are we going to do about those 2020 iPhones? 
that you couldn't go with 11s, 11s Max, and 11SR, because that's not what they did before. You couldn't go with 11R, because that name was already used on the previous years. So this naming of the 11R is difficult, the 10R2. Now, they could call this budget model the SE, or the iPhone 9 or something. Or it could not even be a 10-style phone. We could be looking at a, a rumor, a while ago there were rumors, of a iPhone 8 upgraded. That could be called the iPhone 9, or the iPhone SE 2019, or something of that sort. But I don't think they would get rid of the 10R model. This model is very successful. The name is very successful. I don't think they would just eliminate the R, which doesn't even mean anything, but is a very successful naming scheme. So what would they do there? This is what I think would happen. I think that Apple will go with the naming scheme that is pretty popular. The iPhone 11, 11 Max, and 11R in Roman numerals to stay with the same thing. Even despite what I said earlier about the issues later. Because I think that in 2020, with these brand new redesign, hopefully amazing things, different screen sizes in 2020, they will take a completely different naming route and have a new phone, new naming, so we won't have to worry about that anymore. So we'll have 11, 11 Max, and 11R this year, and then in 2020, they'll have a completely new naming convention. Now this is entirely my speculation, there is nothing really to back this up other than what I've said, so this could end up being completely different. But who knows? We could see anything. We could see the Cook Phone by Tim Apple. Who knows? I'm Scour. Thanks for watching.